Welcome to WESC Foundation. My name's Jane Bell and I'm the Chief Executive of WESC Foundation and we would like to take you on a virtual tour of our campus here in Exeter. We've got a 14 acre site on the edge of the city of Exeter, close to the M5. Many trees, lots of grass, beautiful space for our school, our college and the adult services that we run from here. This virtual tour is to give you an idea of the facilities we have on site that anybody wanting to come and use our adult services or be part of our school and college would have access to. So you're going to meet some of my colleagues and they're going to explain to you how we operate and some of the fantastic things we have on offer. Hello, my name's Tim Green and I'm the Water Therapy Centre Supervisor. So we're here at our fantastic four-lane competition swimming pool. Let's go inside and take a look. We're fantastically lucky to have this wonderful swimming pool. and We use it for a wide range of aquatic activities. Here we are in the changing rooms uh, and they're large open plan changing. So they're ideal for, for some of our students who lack mobility. Uh, we've got changing beds over here. For ease of access, we have a battery powered hoist system so the students can easily transfer from the changing beds or a wheelchair directly through on the track system to the pool area where the water's kept at a, a beautiful 33 degrees C. Hello there. My name is Matt Smith, I'm the Director of Education at the West Foundation. I'd like to welcome you all here into one of our classes and just talk to you about our education or our learning support across the campus at West Foundation. So, our curriculum has been developed through a multidisciplinary way of working with a range of staff from across the campus including teachers, therapists and care staff. Our curriculum allows us to personalise our offer to the needs of the students and allows them to access a range of activities that are specific to their needs and aspirations. We do this through a, a range of activities across our campus, both in classes through specific sessions, outdoors across our campus through the Discovery Garden, at our West Hill site, in our houses where we also support the learning of the students, in therapy sessions, both integrated and standalone sessions. So our class sizes are relatively small and dependent on the needs of the students. We'll be somewhere between six students to one teacher or up to eight or nine students to one teacher. And so as well as the teacher in the class and the team leader and enabler support within the class, we also have additional uh, VI specific activities that we um, support our students to engage with, such as Braille learning, um, the learning of Moon for those students who are pre-Braille. Uh, we do pre-Braille skills as well with our students and we also have additional Access Tech support on the campus through one of our Access Tech tutors who comes in to support with students with developing their understanding of new and interesting technology and how they can use that in their daily life. Hi, I'm Mark Phillips. I'm the Director of Care and Support Services here at West Foundation. We are in the heart of our student school and college residential village. The accommodation behind us, Shepherd and Morley, is for our younger students um, aged 18 and under, um, and its accommodation for 10 is split into two blocks of five. Our college aged students live in Naylor, Powley, and Nellaren flats. These flats are relatively large, a um, mixture of five to ten beds. They all have uh, adapted kitchens, um, high-low bathroom spaces um, and shared communal areas. Each of our houses provides um, all of our young people with 
dining spaces, so these are shared spaces in each of the houses, but there are also larger communal uh, dining space, um, so the, our, all of our students get to choose where they, where they like to eat their meal. For some of our students leaving formal education, they make the informed decision to join our adult community services. Um, that might be on a part-time basis as part of our adult day service, or living with us out in the community in our supported living homes, um, or behind me in St David's House, full-time residential. Hello, my name is Sue Stagg and I'm the team lead for therapy and mobility here at the West Foundation. We're very lucky to have a team of physiotherapists, speech and language therapists, occupational therapists and music therapists all employed directly by the West Foundation. We're really lucky here to have our own hydrotherapy pool which young people access it during the day with physiotherapists but in the evening our care groups can access it. For a leisure facility. We also have a state-of-the-art sensory room. Let's go inside and meet Nikki who will tell you all about it. Welcome to our sensory room. In our sensory room we have a range of activities that can be adapted to meet individual need. We have three bubble tubes. The first bubble tube is filled with air and young people can put their hands over the top of this and feel the stream of air but you don't get much vibrational feedback from this. Another bubble tube has water and beads and young people with no vision get a lot of sensory feedback from the vibration. Um, we have also connected switches to these so they understand the early communication skills of cause and effect of pressing the switch to make something happen. Following on with this term's theme, we have the musical squares and they are currently set on sounds all to do with the great outdoors. This is our floor projector which we use for all of our young people across campus. This activity is set up for students who have more functional vision and are able to find a target and choose an actual letter. This is an example of a pre-made activity called the xylophone where young people can turn take, work in pairs and just the simple body movement makes the music happen. This is Winston, he's our Riding for the Disabled horse. We do send a group on Tuesday mornings but for those that can't access that, Winston is a great substitute. He can be used to develop confidence and skills in horse riding, but also to get people familiar with horse riding. He has a variety of speeds, two walking, a trotting, and then we can go up to cantering so that we can challenge our young people when they're riding. Apart from Winston, this is our main physiotherapy room. We have the trampoline that Nikki is kindly sitting on. We also have our therabike, which people in wheelchairs can access, treadmills and some sensory integration equipment in the corner. We also are lucky enough to have ceiling track hoists, which are in the majority of our rooms here, so that um, even wheelchair dependent young people can be hoisted onto the equipment and have full access. Rebound therapy is a very popular um, therapeutic treatment that we use here. It allows our young people a freedom of movement that they may not be able to get on the ground. It's fun, but it also allows them to develop their core stability, their balance. And with equipment such as a sound beam, it allows them to maybe make very small movements of their body, but creates a sound. So they're automatically getting feedback that, that they have a cause and effect on their world. We hope you've enjoyed our virtual tour of Wesk Foundation's campus. Thank you so much for calling in to see us. If you've got any other questions about what's available at Wesk Foundation, please do contact us.